Scotland's new hate crime laws is Dave in London. Dave, what do you make of these new laws? <coughs> oh, hi, Dean. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Dave, are you? Uh, I think they're going to go south very quickly. Mm -hmm. I suspect there are probably about 100 complaints, as we speak, have already gone in against J.K. Rowling mm -hmm. um, and would have also gone in against other um, uh, women's rights type people like Helen Joyce, who I believe Matthew described as disgraceful the other day, which I found disgraceful him saying that. Um, and I think you'll find that within about three or four weeks, these cases are going to start coming out and maybe people like Matthew will then realise that this is not a conversation like it was 10 years ago, where we're all trying to be nice. And as he mentioned, someone who's gone through the, the surgery, got a certificate, life's moved on, Matthew. It's now about self-ID. I can self-ID as a woman tomorrow and I can go and play for the England women's team and I'd probably score 15 goals. Um, that's where we're at right now. It's well, moved on. Stonewall. Dave, let, let me bring years. in Matthew to, to bounce back to you on that, Matthew. Yeah, no, Dave, I mean, as I think I made clear both at the time and as I made clear on social media subsequently, there is a very big difference about have it, between having a grown-up, sensible conversation about potential clashes between women's rights and trans rights. For example, I don't support trans women competing with women in sport because I think that it leads to unfairness as well as the perception of unfairness. But there's a big difference between that, which is perfectly reasonable, and calling someone who is a trans woman who has gone through the transitioning process and is legally a woman, calling an individual a man in those circumstances is disgraceful and is bigoted. And unfortunately, because we've inherited these culture wars from America, transphobia has now been given a voice, whereas in the not too distant past, it seemed to be a thing of the past. I have full respect for people who take women's rights seriously and have a proper conversation about it, but let's not be personally abusive or hateful. Dave, quick right of reply. So Matthew wants a law just around half a dozen people like India Willoughby. What about the law around men like Isla Bryson, who suddenly said, I'm a woman, I want to go into a woman's prison? Because you're dealing with a law here. The law doesn't pick and choose. It doesn't put in there, doesn't apply to Debbie Hayton, doesn't apply to people that have um, gone through the process. It doesn't differentiate. It just says, if you say you're a woman, you're a woman. So you've got to get off this thing about, oh, someone's gone through the process and everything else. And you said you want a grown-up conversation. You're the child in the room, according to most people that know Helen Joyce very well. She's been writing about this for over 10 years. You've stumbled on the subject in the last two years, and now you're trying to grapple with it. You're five to six years down the road. No, Dave, you're just... Like, sorry, you know, Dave, I'm just going to come back on that. we're quite pushed on time. We're going to be coming back very, to this story, so can I let you bring your response in? But just call me a child. <laughs> <laughs> Others would agree. I would disagree. Dave, thank you for calling in, and we'll make sure Matthew gets a proper right of reply when we come back to this story in a short while.